Welcome to Inspire Me with Jay, a podcast focusing on meditation, the near-death experience, and all things spiritual. Welcome to Inspire Me with Jay. My name is Jay Spillers, author and teacher, and I have a special guest today, Dr. Daphne Erhart. Daphne, how are you? I'm great, Jay. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm doing great. So you're a psychologist and you also work with uh, meditation to help your clients? Yes, I'm a psychologist. I'm a master NLP practitioner. I do a lot of different things and I love doing meditations and guided meditations. I I uh, have something called Spa for the Soul on my website, Spa for the Soul, number four, the soul.com. And I like to um, create guided meditations that are specific to people's needs. For mm -hmm. example, uh, yeah, we've talked about that a little bit before, but I'll, I'll, I'll stop for now and let you go on. <laughs> oh, no. So you do um, several different types. You do for success. You do for calm calming you do it for yeah. different issues yeah exactly so today i'll be doing it for being on purpose and creating your ideal life and uh, there are other other types of things i've i have some that are for sleep i have some that are daily affirmations you could use every morning quick five minutes to get you in the right mindset of of positivity and everything you want to create in your life um there are some if you feel lonely you know it could be for anything you could use med meditation for anything calm anxiety stuff like that but the but yeah for the today we're going to do one that is more for being on purpose in our lives and you could use it in the morning you can use it at the beginning of the week and it's just to help become centered and focus on what you want in your life so do you need to get someone in a meditative state to do nlp which is uh i think it's neuro linguistic programming Neuro-linguistic programming happens all day, every day, whether we realize it or not. Um, you don't have to be in any type of state. It, it, you're already, your brain is already creating um, meaning out of all the input that's in our lives. So neuro-linguistic programming is the combination of neuro, which is your brain, linguistic language, and how that kind of programming, so how it kind of affects you. So every day the way we talk with each other the way we listen to advertisements on tv how we speak really affects our lives you know it's important to be conscious of uh how we speak for example if we speak positivity into the future or if we are concentrating on all if you know what you focus on expands in your life so if you're always focusing on the terrible things around you oh look at this person did this look at the trash on the road or versus if we concentrate on this beautiful beach background behind you <laughs> you know you're going to be in a different emotional state <laughs> it affects you yeah i'm sure you're familiar with all of this too um as mm -hmm. a meditation specialist so so yeah. meditation is a way to to do nlp but it's not the only way and you could do things like affirmations in the morning and you could choose to focus on positive things um gratitude probably would, would relate to it it's just basically gratitude your mindset yeah. mindset is very important yes yes nlp and meditation are not the same thing obviously but um it's just a way of conceptualizing, understanding the brain, NLP is. <laughs> but, mm. yeah. I spent several years of my life stressed, anxious, and depressed. I needed to find something that would make my life work. 
for me, that was meditation. With meditation, I found the peace of mind that I was looking for. I found the happiness. And I found a way to improve every area of my life, my emotional life, my spiritual life, my relationships. I was able to discover things about myself. I can give you the tools to meditate. I will walk you through the process and hold your hand. Whether you're a beginner to meditation who's never meditated, or whether you're someone who's tried meditation and it just never seemed to work, we can make it work. Meditation is something that everyone can do, and I can show you how. Check out my course on meditation. So how does meditation enhance your practice in psychology? Uh, meditation is very helpful, I find, for clients and for me and for anybody um, in many different ways. Uh, for example, if you're very anxious or stressed or anything, it, we all have so much going on, you know, in our daily lives. So being able to not have a thousand things happening all at once and then actually becoming centered and being on purpose and deciding, oh, I'm having this thought and this thought and this thought. And instead of all these thoughts, I'm going to let these go by and choose this thought, uh, dwell on the, the things on purpose, be more on purpose in your life and more calm and center, centered. <laughs> How long have you been doing meditation and when did you start to incorporate it in the other things that you do? Oh, I don't even know how to answer that question. I've been in the field of psychology for 25 years now. Um, started, yeah, about 25 years ago. And I mean, meditation, there, there's so many aspects of meditation. It's just, you know, part of our brains are part of our lives um yeah what about you how what, tell me about your background in meditation i'm interested in that as well as a fellow meditator i've been doing meditation for probably about 17 years and it was just sort of self-taught and i studied a lot of different things here and there techniques and suggestions and then i wrote a book um last year on meditation called meditation for everyone and I have an online course that I did meditation basics and I actually taught meditation at one of those uh, community classes in my local area. So it's just been sort of developed over the years. Okay. Yeah. Do you do it every day yourself or do you um, just enjoy doing it at specific times? I do it every day and I, mean, I tend to prefer to do it in the afternoon, it seems like that's the time that I get the most benefit from it. I know a lot of people like to do it either in the morning or the evening, but the afternoon seems to work the best yeah. for me. Yeah, I love how it's flexible and you just do what you what is best for your own brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people do it in the morning when they're just waking up or in the evening when they're theta waves, you know. But afternoon, maybe you're just more relaxed in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it kind of helps pick you up, too, because you kind of get the afternoon slump to meditate in the afternoon and sort of help. Yeah. In the mornings, I yeah. tend to do um, like uh, prayer and affirmations. And I do like a little bit of breathing because I found like if you do deep breathing in through the nose, hold for a few seconds, and then exhale, and you do that for five minutes, it can elevate your mood and can help to energize you as well. You can do that on the go. Yeah. So easy. You can do that in the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or you can do it when you're anywhere without anyone even knowing that you're doing it. Mm -hmm. I probably meditate formally like 40 minutes a day. Do you have like a certain formal meditation you do? No. no, I don't actually. I don't do it 
uh, formally in any way that I have to do every day. I do it. I pretty much I'm pretty good at listening to my body and deciding what I need that day if I need more or less or a lot or none at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so if you'd like, I can go ahead on in and, and do a guided meditation for the listeners. Would that be helpful? Sure. Okay. This is a script that I created. Um, and so get a, whoever's listening, welcome. <sighs> Thank you for being here with us today. And if you can become comfortable in your seat, wherever you are. And as you get ready for this exercise, breathe in, and then exhale. Let your exhale become longer than your inhale. Let your eyes gently close and let your body comfortably settle down into whatever is holding you up right now, whatever's supporting you. Whether it's the chair, floor, the bed, sand, grass. Keep on breathing in a regular pattern. Let your body just have these few moments to relax and reset. Feel the earth or the chair holding your body up and supporting you. As you get ready right now to let go of the past and make room for what is about to happen in your life. Let your body slowly start to gently relax as you breathe in and out. Let your body's muscle groups start to tense and contract from the top of your head and neck. Then let those muscle groups Relax again after you tense them up. Now let your muscles in your shoulder and your arms tense up as tightly as possible. This will help them relax. Completely letting go with your breath. Now go on throughout the rest of your body your chest and torso. Some areas may feel tense. Tense them up for a couple of seconds. Whatever that area is that feels tense, tense it up really tightly and then let it go. Become aware of the spaces between. Release the tension of your breath, breathing in and out. Remember that your breath is a symbol of letting things go in your life.
take moments to let your breath assist your whole body in letting things go. Whether it's your stomach, your back, your hips, any part of your body, your feet, your toes. <laughs> whatever emotions come up right now for you. You might feel a giggle coming up. You might feel anger dissipate through your breath. Whatever it is, just let it bubble up and go. <laughs> Could be through breath, through a cough, through anything. Notice how as you're feeling blissful, letting that come up, you might feel sand under your hands as you imagine being on the beach. You might feel it in your hands, your body, your feet, gentle, soft sand. Play with it, feel its texture, the light breeze on your face, the warm sun on your body. A mixture of all of these things puts you, puts your body in the perfect place of peace and bliss. As you are relaxing, looking at the ocean, sitting on the warm, soft sand, hearing the ocean, I know that you are wondering as you are sitting there. You may be wondering how these waves come up and then gently go back into the sea as carefree as it washed up the sand, it returns. And back and forth you hear the waves and see the waves. You might wonder how they feel so blissful, carefree. <laughs> How those waves, like you, trust the process of life, of coming and going. Pleasant things and not so pleasant, and back to pleasant. The waves have learned many things. They have wisdom in their reaching and letting go and tumbling back into the vast ocean. As you sit there, you wonder what wisdom you can learn from the ocean. You soak it all in. You slowly start getting up, feeling so light, enjoying the feel of the sand under your feet. You start to take some steps towards the edge of where the ocean and sand meet. And the sand becomes wet beneath your feet and you feel the mixture of the warmth the sand and the coolness of the wet water. And you realize that the combination of these two very different things is what makes it so beautiful to walk on. 
in life, the combination of such different things makes it so beautiful to see, to feel, to listen to the waves. become like the ocean and this beautiful sandy beach. You start to walk along where the sand and water meet, where you can feel both the water and sand under your feet. And you decide to turn around for a second. You turn around and look back and you notice all of these footsteps. All of your past footsteps in your life of all the things that you've done and become. And you take ownership of them in your life. And you realize you are so thankful for all of these decisions that has brought you so much wisdom. And now, you bend down to the sand and you draw a symbol or you just write some things that you'd like to let go of in the sand can be beliefs you have about yourself, feelings, a habit, pretty much just an old way of life and you think to yourself, what would happen if you didn't do these things anymore? And you think to yourself as you're walking on the sand, what wouldn't happen if you did, and you look forward to where you haven't created yet and you realize that you are looking forward to what you haven't created yet, and you realize that what you are looking at and what you are about to create next in your life. So beautiful. You are in a beautiful state of bliss. It's like a spa for your soul that you're experiencing at this moment. You realize in this spa for your soul that any challenges that come your way are actually so exciting. <laughs> you crave now, you crave a potential pro problem in the future. And you crave it because it gives you an opportunity to create a magnificent solution. In this state of bliss, you see things differently. You see problems as opportunities. As you walk along the beach, you enjoy this process. This spa for the soul of letting go of negative energy and making room for the new. Ah, <sighs> take some more breaths. Soak it all in. All the past thoughts about why things to, haven't seemed to work out in the past, those things just release into the water and the waves. They go tumbling back into the vast ocean, dissipating. And the ocean cleanses it and comes back with brand new waves of thinking and feeling and experiencing life. You are so thankful for this transformation as you stand there looking to the left behind you, to the right in front of you. 
you realize you feel so liberated inside, so strong, so free. It's a good feeling, isn't it? Aren't you so excited for all the opportunities in your future, which have become now? And how making room for the new has been such an amazing choice to make, hasn't it? Continue with your breath as you put your hand on your chest and feel the life inside of you, the immense gratefulness of these new good choices you can make. Mm, you're savoring this memory and know that it's not only a memory, it is the present moment. And you're so grateful for this day and every day when you get to let go of the past and make room for your new life, which is now. And you can come back to this place at any time, can't you? Like now. It will be more or less the same because it's always here for you. And that means that you always have this power to come back and learn new ways of being. You have learned new ways of being and feeling and you are doing it. And you can always carry this with you. At this moment, and now you start to realize that you are being held up by the seat under you. <laughs> Start to feel the ground under your legs, under your feet. Start to become aware of your breath. Knowing you can take this moment with you as you Sit back down on the dry sand, taking breaths and savoring these last memories. Now and until next time. So take some breaths with us now. And flutter your eyes open whenever you are ready. And come back to now. <laughs>